Hey everybody, so Christy Oates, Derwin Sherwood, yeah, we're the um, co-producers and co-creators of Appalachia Star Seed Reunion, but you guys probably hopefully know that by now, so we're here at Mount Mitchell Echo Retreat where we're going to be having our um, gathering, we're actually on the main stage, which is really just a field, and um, so we wanted to take a minute to tell you a little bit more about the content, because to me, it's always been about the content. That's the number one most important thing. Why are you guys coming here? What are, you know? What are, what are you getting for, for making the effort to, to take a risk to come out and join this conference that you've maybe, or gathering that you've never heard of? Well, so that's why we worked really, really hard to develop the content, a very cohesive theme that all of our speakers will be talking about in some kind of way. And that theme is contact. You've probably noticed our tagline, celebrating enlightened contact. Right. I'm, I'm especially looking forward to meeting a lot of people, making contact with new people that I didn't know before because, you know, during COVID, we just, we didn't get out enough. We weren't making friends. We weren't, we weren't having community like we needed to have. And that's what this is all about. This is all about, hey, it's time to come on out and, and meet our new family and friends that we didn't know we had before. Yeah. Yeah. And you may have heard me say before, the community is a medicine. Um, contact is medicine. So, um, you know, if you are isolated and you don't have community, you feel alone, you feel scared, you don't have resources, people to talk to, to bounce ideas off of, to give you guidance, well then you're, you're very weak and controlled and it can be easy to feel fearful and depressed. But um, there has been re a bunch of research studies that have shown that when people are in community or animals are in community, they're less likely to feel depression or anxiety or do addictive behaviors, they're more likely to be their, opti their optimum, their best. And so um, that's one thing that you'll get from coming out. That's one form of contact, which is so, so important. But when you think about contact, there's so many different um, ways to think about it. So contact with each other, so important, right? Right, <laughs> I love it. most definitely. <laughs> and um, I met Derwin through doing these events and he's turned into a really good friend. And so many people that I've met through other events that I've done in the past years um, have turned into lifelong friends because they have that same, they have that same frequency. They, you don't have to be um, scared or nervous to say, hey, you know, I just saw a multidimensional being walking down, an elemental being um, was just like hanging out with me a minute ago. You don't have to be fearful that you're gonna be made fun of or anything like that because almost everyone, all of the speakers, most of the organizers, a lot of the people, if not most, who come to events like this have had contact. And so in some sort of way, even maybe they don't remember it all, um, but we, we, we do that. It's, it can be fearful unless you have the skills, the community support, um, the confidence to go into these multi-dimensional realms and have these experiences. So that's a lot of what our speakers are going to be here to help you about. And I can tell you that uh, we saw, we definitely found some fairy circles out here on this property. My daughter and I hiking around. And you want to see a fairy circle? I'll let you. I'll take you out. And show you a fairy circle for sure. It's 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 beautiful. That there's some nature spirits out here, and there are the the energy out here from from Mother Gaia is just so strong, and I think that it is permeating every aspect of our being and and this is the place to be i think we're going to be doing some late night uh ce5 meditations we are it's a perfect spot for that like i i, I was saying in another video the, there's a dark sky observatory just a few miles from here this is a very remote mountain top i've been up here about four or five times over this year bringing different energy seers different speakers and organizers and they all have um interesting stories you know they've seen beans on the mountain ridge up there kind of watching over us so uh, it's very likely that we'll have lots of contact experiences very little light pollution oh uh, yes that's that's right yeah very little uh energy pollution you know 5g is much more dampened up here and um you know what i'm really looking forward to again fireside drum circles bring your instruments uh we might have some um, some live music being played as well, some uh, speakers, but for the most part, I, I, we'd love for everybody to bring their, their instruments. We'll drum and we'll dance. Uh, I believe uh, Aaron will be teaching us some stuff about singing and uh, Kyle Espenshade will be uh, teaching us some stuff about uh, ecstatic dance, breath work, things like that. And I'll be there. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun in the evenings with the fire and uh, just being able to have community in the evenings after all the workshops, presentations, and uh, 
healing services that are being offered. We're just all going to hang out and chill for the evenings and make new friends. And there'll be, I, even if I fall asleep by 10 o'clock, there'll probably still be stuff going on well into yeah. the night after that. Yeah. Um, it's true, and um, that was by design, of course, as th we know the content so important. We, we really want everyone to have a high vibe experience, and when you sing in unison together with your community, when you dance in unison together with your community, you raise your vibration, and multi-dimensional beings notice this, and they get curious, and they want to know. They notice that light, that high vibe, that fun. If you're laughing together, if you're playing together, they're going to be curious and be like, I want to get in on this. So that's a very intentional part. I call it the energy management team. And so we really, from the time that you get here to the time that you leave, it, we our goal is that you feel like you've stepped into another dimension. And in a way, we kind of, it is kind of like our own little portal up here away from everybody. Um, but yeah, what else? Contact. Um, I think we still have a few uh, reduced ticket prices maybe for people who might. We don't want you to feel like money's going to keep you from coming. If you can't afford it, we still need a few more volunteers. Uh, we have some reduced ticket prices true. that we can offer. Uh, reach out to myself or Christy on Facebook or Google, and uh, we're happy to try to work some things out because it's going to take a lot of people. It, build, it takes a community to build something like this. Yeah. And we're going to need a lot of people out here working, helping us with the setup, helping us with the cleanup. And um, I, I, we want to meet people. We want yeah. you to come yeah. out. Yeah. We don't want, yeah, if you're interested and there's challenges or obstacles, reach out to us. And that is the only way that we have been able to do this event this year is that everyone has been so generous. The property owners are sweet sweet young couple they've only owned it for a year it's only had only been open a, a few weeks when we first came out and they get it they want high vibe people they said you know that we I asked them for you know some help because we're a new um, uh, uh, gathering so I you know it's nerve-wracking putting a lot of you know uh, risk out there when you don't really know how many tickets you're gonna sell and the the, the team here has worked with us to make it very comfortable and easy for everybody the speakers have been amazing donating their time very generous to come out here and make this happen so yeah we're doing it for us by us i guess right <laughs> well, we, we wanted we wanted to do it you know yeah. and, and and we know a lot of other people wanted it and needed it we, we a lot of people really need this like christy yeah. was saying at the beginning because it is healing it, uh, being yeah. able to meet new people and be around each other and being community is very healing uh when we when, in a time when we're weak in a time when when we've been struggling and the economy's hurting and and who knows what's going to happen next with uh the way that our world's working but you know what we're going to gather and we're going to be together because that's what that's what the most important thing is right now and, and learning about ascension and high vibe and uh service to others actions and and policies and and helping each other live life right right live life right and get out of the matrix that's you know there's so many pieces to why we do this another reason is to connect with each other to have lasting relationships that extend beyond this once a year event in other words i've met so many people that have the vision that want to do a wellness center or a wellness-based community i think it's a brilliant idea or um a, a directory of alternative healers. These are all brilliant ideas, but I can't do it by myself. Darwin can't do it by himself. So how do you how do you find people that are going to do these things with you? You come to gatherings like this and talk and get to know each other. I've, like I said, I've met so many amazing people just um, by coming out and chatting and showing up. So that's what we're doing. We're showing up. We hope you guys show up. Um, send us your questions. If you have feedback, if you have. Um, ideas if you want to participate um, in any kind of way we're totally open to, to all of it um, and you can see the wind blowing it's such an ideal ideal <laughs> setting here and it is healing just standing here you know there's crystals in these mountains so we're basically standing on a giant crystal in the middle of the um, blue sky so nothing really is better um, even if it rains, we're still going to be here. It's going to probably, I mean, I don't say it might, it probably might, might rain. Might yeah, <laughs> it might, it we'll might be not. dancing in the rain. Yeah, exactly. Better. We'll love it. We'll love every minute of it. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to share some, a little more additional information with y'all about what to expect here at Appalachia Starseed Reunion. Um, tickets, uh, early bird tickets pricing ends June 30th. So you have a few weeks left to get the early bird prices, which is 144 for the whole weekend. Goes up to 188 after that. So it's pretty significant savings. And um, if they want to still buy a ticket when they get here, 
Uh, Two twenty-two we'll, at we'll the have, door. We'll still yeah. have that. Uh, yeah. But that's that's. I feel like that's cheaper than any other gathering that I know of. For yeah, I think for the specialness, the uniqueness. This is not at a corporate hotel. This is not in a big city. You know, it's about twenty minutes. I think thirty out, minutes. Yeah, to Asheville. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's so, gorgeous. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being interested. Thanks for supporting us. Um, connect with us, ask us questions, find us on Facebook. We're pretty active in our Facebook group, Appalachia Starseed Reunion and Appalachia Starseed Disclosure is like our more worldwide one, our international group. And we've got a lot of good stuff on our YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh yeah. And look at the, oh my gosh, if you haven't been to our YouTube channel, there's so, we've posted all of the, most of the speakers from the last two events that we did the years in the past. And that's like a mini, free mini conference right there. So there's Definitely. a few on there that have, when I reached out to you, a few of those videos from last year changed my life. I told you about that. Yeah. That's one of the criteria for um, our vetting criteria for our speakers is, are you going to tell some our people in our audience something that's going to change their lives, something easy, accessible, that they can take home with them that's going to change their lives? That's my criteria. It, and it will. It yeah, will. Yeah. It'll be a life-changing experience. So, anyway, thanks for listening. Um, yeah. Much love. Namaste.